What's up, world? Welcome to another edition of I Mix What I Like here at the Real News Network. For this special edition, Bashi Rose and I actually were working in partnership with my main man, DJ Mike Nice, and WEAA 88.9 FM in Baltimore for a No Hooks for the Hip Hop Chronicles segment. So check out this interview we just did with Comrade here in Baltimore about his politics and the culture that has inspired his work. When the sun goes down, we'll be right back. Right back. Right back. All my comrades will be right back, right back, right back. Grab the gas mask, we'll be right back, right back, right back. Fuck the curfew, we'll be right back. Yeah, they made us disperse, but we'll be grouping, we'll be right back. Cops killing us, now they blaming us. Why the hell you think the city flaming up? Cops posted at the mall though. Oh, I guess my life ain't got a price tag. What's up, world? Back again, No Hooks, WEAA, part of the Hip Hop Chronicles here, 88.9 FM. I'm Jared Ball. On the other side of the glass is my main man, DJ Mike Nice, making sure everything sounds like it's supposed to. And on this side of the glass with me, first of all, my main man, Bashi Rose, working with us at the Real News Network as well. And uh, uh, But on the mic is Comrade, man. Welcome back to, to, to WEAA and to Spaces I Inhabit. It's good to see you again, man. So... Well, let's just get into. First of all, I just really want to. So we don't. We don't have that much time in these segments. You are, uh, to me, one of the the. Forgive me if I if I'm mislabeling you here. One of the brightest young MCs, not just in this area. I don't like to refer. You know, I know sometimes artists get a little sensitive about being called local. I know you're bigger than that, but you are local to us in this area mm-hmm. here in Baltimore. Um, I, just tell us a little bit, for those who may not be aware of your work, where is it that you're coming from politically is most interesting to me, most important to me. But but uh, coming out of Baltimore, coming from uh, 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 a certain political trajectory, tell us a little bit about that, and then let's talk a little bit about your music, and I know you got some big things coming up. Yeah, thanks. Um, that's a great, great question, because uh, I started rhyming from my activism and organizing mm-hmm. in high school, um, and it grew as like a way to release that frustration mm-hmm. from and the poetry grew into the rhymes um and i stuck with it ever since high school I had a little click you know get a crew rap um and through college stuck with it after college and, and i'm here now mm-hmm. so uh, uh comrade that's the name uh you uh, people listening know what that's all about um and that's what i'm bringing i'm bringing that that soundtrack you can fight to and that soundtrack you can live to you know what i mean so that's the, the comrade music you know, but I, let's. I want to say a couple of words more about the, the the politics around comrade. I mean, it's it's you know the term has its own definite association, at least for me. You know, mostly with with the radical left coming out of the you know the the, the communist and socialist struggles in this country and around the world. Uh, it's been appropriated, uh, uh, I think, more properly by the African world. I mean, Amokal Cabral has a great statement about why he prefers to be comrade versus friend or family even. You know, I can't pick my family, my blood family. But comrade yeah. is someone that, that is not just a friend, but somebody I know will have my back through all kinds of struggle. Uh, um so I mean, but what are the, that's how that's how I associate the term. Yeah. Say a few words, if you would, to to either correct me or or to 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 add depth to what I've said about how I see this term. Yeah, your I, name. Yeah. I I agree with you 100. Mm-hmm. percent Um, I actually was being called comrade before I adopted the the stage name as right, comrade right. through different political parties, revolutionary and communist parties. Um, and I was just writing one day and I said something something for my comrades and and just it just stuck ever mm-hmm. since then because. It's just it's so real to to what I what I'm about, what I've experienced, and, and my vision mm-hmm. with music. I mean, hip hop has so much potential to to really shape the future, mm-hmm. and I feel like uh, bring bringing more music to the forefront um, that inspires activism or just inspires uh, you know real progress, you know real solutions, and really speaking truth to to all the craziness that's going on is. It, it can really make some things happen. So, things so politically and musically, who inspires you, or what ideas inspire you, or what what collectives inspire you, or have have uh, uh, led you to this place that you are now? Well, definitely, I'm I'm a huge uh, Black Panther Party. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I want like not believer, but, she, but pretty much believer follower. Yeah. Um, inspired by just really look up to the Black Panther Party because I feel like that was the last major. Uh, fight, you know, in this country 
uh, to end the, the oppression and capitalism here. And I feel like the more we study what happened in, in the last years of the Black Panther Party, that really helped us lead where we're going today. Mm -hmm. Because even like just the stuff I was doing in high school, having the conversations about, all right, we're tired of marching. We're tired of going to right. the same politicians. Right. We've, we've, we've been doing it for like a good five years straight. Right. It is, we have to take it to a whole nother level. And learning about the things that happened in the 50s, 60s, 70s, there's going to come a point in time where we're going to say, all right, all of this getting beat up, getting shot up, getting locked up. We're not, we're not taking it no more. <laughs> but the thing is, we've already came to that point yeah. already. Mm -hmm. So what happened? How When we get to that point again, what are we going to do to not you know, be jailed and slaughtered, you know, by our own government. Before the crowds got excited, before the core fans, bands open the nightest. Way before the too loud track with Midas, I grew up where 5 0 was never invited. Um, Comrade, we were just talking a little bit about your political uh, uh, influences. I did want to ask you also, real quick, about your musical influences as well. Contemporary artists, uh, if there are some historical artists, love to hear what you think about what's going on musically now and then. Okay, well, Dead Prayers definitely inspired me to really do what I do right now. Right. Um, Nas is like my favorite MC. Um, right now, I'm really bumping a lot of Wiz, a lot of Future. Mm. Um, real mm. heavy with the Future. Mm. But um, and on so many different levels, I, I don't even need to get into it. Right. That's a whole okay. other interview. But <laughs> but yeah, just really. And Kanye, I feel, is like the, the largest conscious artist. Mm -hmm. If you really, I don't want to say study, but if you really look at what he's doing, like mm -hmm. his last single, what was that, um, All Day, he said, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Uh, talking to Farrakhan as sensei, like who would say something like that in the single, you know? So yeah, I mean, and, you know, uh, uh, coming out of my era, I mean, references to Farrakhan and those kind of politics were 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 was routine. The follow of Farrakhan, who told me that you understand until you hear the man. And to hear that today was was is a, uh, almost a shock, yeah, uh, actually. Yeah. Uh, and somebody as large as Kanye, um, and I actually have argued and lost, you know, some some I think lost some 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 radical points in certain circles for defending Kanye. That I think that a lot of his his uh, uh, so called tantrums and outbursts mm -hmm. are, are, are his his reaction to cr crashing up against the system, uh, to to experiencing firsthand maybe for the first time in some cases smashing up against the system uh, and responding in a certain way. Mm -hmm. Uh, that is something that we saw happen here in Baltimore. The, you know, people come and smash up, you know, face up with the system and its 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 barriers. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that you you did uh, not only have you been an activist already in in, in in your music, but you did a particular track in response to that. It's called Right Back. Right Back. And one, I thought it was dope. Now, my brother-in-law, who's who's probably about your age, he once years ago told me he was shocked to hear uh, uh, when Dead Prez did one of their mixtapes. He would, since you mentioned them, he was shocked that they he he said they showed him that you could rhyme to contemporary styles with a certain heavy mm -hmm. level of Content, politics. Yeah. You did that with Right Back. I mean, that's if I'm not mistaken, that's a trap yeah. song. Yep. Yeah. And somehow you were able to work it out that it had it, it sounded dope, looked dope in the video, but but had that sort of politics to it. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, right back um, was inspired just from watching everything going on on the news and just being in the car freestyling and and banging my girl. She was just like, "You might need to go in and lay that down." So that's exactly what I did that same that same night. And um, yeah, right back is just it flow naturally. It's only two minutes and like two seconds. And like clutch, like right back. A lot of these songs, they give you that feel that a lot of people already used to already want to hear. Um, and it it took years to figure out how to crack this code. Like now, you know, I'm able to really make songs that I want to hear. Something that I can I can ride to songs that you know making songs that I can ride to. And right back is, is definitely one of them. 
I don't like a lot of trap music, be honest with you. But but when I saw yours and heard yours, I was like, this thing is off the hook, man. And it, it, it and and you know, uh, I think another generation is going to be able to say the same thing, or maybe even people your contemporaries will be able to say the same thing. We can do this kind of this style of music and rhyming, but we're going to do it with. We can also do it with a different level of content. It doesn't have to always just be about the women and the bling right. and the violence. Right. Uh, it can be about a, a more revolutionary concepts. So I was, I, I, I hope it has that. So look, we only have a couple more. Anyway, I hope, I hope what Dead Prez did for you and my brother-in-law, you were doing for for others That's coming up behind you. That's the goal. Um, speaking of Dead Prez and the mixtape and all of that, you got a mixtape coming out soon. Last summer. It's called Last Summer. Why is it called Last Summer? Oh man, last summer that's like the the mantra right now. It's like the work that's happening right now, or uh, the momentum, uh, the the struggles, the sacrifice, uh, all the hard work is leading up to the end of this summer to the point where I'll feel very comfortable in the position I'm in to not only leave my job but mm. really focus a hundred percent on making this calm right. So now. it's not like I know what you did last summer. No, 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 no. It's 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 about <laughs> it's every it's about summer. right now. This is the last one. Mm. You know, all the the situations. I've, a lot of people live in the same crazy situations, circumstances, and it's the last summer for a lot of that. And that's what it's all about. Working very hard, going hundred percent, hundred ten percent, two hundred percent. So know. tell us what's coming. What 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 the the mixtape does it have a, a release date already? Do you have a, a, a target date? June. It's dropping this month. This month. This sometime month. this month. Sparked the show off last night, June first. We on the radio. Uh, I, well, we on the radio. We on now. the radio now. <laughs> we on the radio now. <laughs> Have uh, two shows this week, so we really, really turning up. But definitely dropping June. My next video shoot for Generous. Come on out. Uh, it's gonna be June fourteenth at Old Town Mall. It's so people can get cameos and get in yes, the video. Come through. Bring the fam out. It's gonna be Clutch on steroids. So if you seen Clutch. You go love generous. And then you said you're gonna have a real news network release party at some point as well. Yes, real news network official release party early July. That's what we're shooting for. Um, so we turn it up. Go to comrademusic.com. All the events are gonna be posted. The videos. And everything. music is with a Z. Comrade music with a Z dot com and yes, check yes. out, get all the updates. Man, I thank you for coming through, man. Thanks for having me, man. I like this guy right here, man. This is this is this is when people ask me, like, you know, who's coming. He's on the top of the list, like the next the next wave. I love it, and I love this last summer concept, too. So for Comrade, for my man Mike Nice, for Bashi Rose, and our, and our, and our little teamwork with the Real News Network, uh, uh, this is Jared Ball for No Hooks, WEAA Hip Hop Chronicles. Check us out, 8446-HIP-HOP, 8446-HIP-HOP, and we'll catch you in the morning. Peace, everybody. Peace. Thank you, man. Good. Never feel that prison pool, never like school, but I always value principles. Uh, BGG. Camaraderie, uh huh. Part of me, it's been a part of me. That means it's more than me. As far as that I can see, we that deep. Filling every slum, hood, villa, and back seat. Uh, when we march and we pack streets. Pick it in, so if it's locked, we kick it in. Through thick and thin, comrades, we get it in. Let's begin, unite within until the mission ends. Yeah. Marcus Garvey and Huey. Marcus Garvey and Huey. It's that Harry and Marcus Garvey and Huey Embedded in my brain and it's running all through me Through me this day, this day, this day Uh-huh, this day, this day, this day Uh-huh, this day Marcus Garvey and Huey Embedded in my brain and it's running all through me I miss what I like, what I like